Hey everybody, John Chutsky here from BSE 508. I'm gonna do a really quick run through here on the syllabus. I would really encourage you not only to watch this video, but also make sure that you read the syllabus carefully. Let me go to my screen share and we'll see if we can uh, step through this here quickly. So the syllabus is located in Canvas. It is in the top module. That's module A, which is about course and personal information. There will be other material that'll be linked. It'll look a little bit different than what you see here on your version once classes get started. But let's go there right now. I am only gonna highlight the stuff that's in yellow. So again, make sure that you have read the syllabus carefully. 508 is part of a two class sequence. 508 goes together with 509. 508 is in the spring, 509 is in the fall, and 509 is where you really actually do the, the final design, the prototype development and the testing for the product or the system that you'll be like really going into in great detail here in 508, okay? So uh, 508, this spring semester 2021 is going to be taught asynchronously. That means there will be no in-class meetings either in person or on Zoom. Everything will be done virtually, okay? And everything will be done kind of on your own pace. Having said that, even though we're not going to be meeting face-to-face, -face, there's two exceptions to that. One, is that you will have to come together periodically throughout the semester a number of times as a team and in some cases with your advisor. So that's gonna likely happen by Zoom, Blackboard Collaborate or some other type of a, a digital method. You may choose to meet in person, but I suspect for the majority of teams, all of your meetings will happen virtually. Um, I talked a little bit about 508 and 509 kind of going together. If you do well in 508 and if you really take it seriously, you will do splendidly well in 509. And 509, the product will sort of design itself. Believe me when I say that, um, 508 is what I will call a process or journey class. You're gonna take this journey which is the journey that all engineers follow. If they do design well, they really do their homework. They really plan. They really collect as much information as they possibly can. Um, and that's really what 508 is all about. Um, as I talked about, the final design and testing will happen in 509. Here's the thing that I want to tell you. A lot of people treat 508 in the past, they've treated it like it's busy work, right? Like, yeah, I've been given this problem and I'm just going to kind of go through and do all the stuff that Dr. Shutsky says I need to do to get my A or my AB in the class. I will tell you that if you do this well, you will be more knowledgeable, especially if you look at the collection of individuals who are part of your team. As a team, you will have more knowledge than 99. 9999% of the human population. And then guess what? When you go out into the real world, you go out into the marketplace and you're interested in working as a design engineer. If you take this class seriously, you'll have a leg up on so many people. And I've got a number of case studies that, that bear that out and that really prove my point. Um, our good students who go out and get really awesome jobs really to really do take classes like 508 seriously. As a result of the need to really like focus on this problem that you'll be working on, your grade will be based not on how much busy work you did, but on the relevance to the design problem to which you are assigned. Relevance means, is it meaningful? Does it apply? Is this something that is gonna really add to your knowledge or the knowledge of the team? And if not, when we grade your assignments, it's usually really apparent when people are just kind of going through the motions. So really do think about relevance in all of the work that you do. About halfway down on the syllabus, we are going to just talk briefly about design notebooks. I will cover this in a lot of detail when I talk about the importance of documenting your design journey. But I want to emphasize everything that you do in BSE 508 and 509 must be recorded, everything. And we'll talk more about that, but that includes the emails, that includes the correspondence, that includes the sketches that your team might work on, or maybe you get together toward the end of the semester and you're over in the, the Steenbach library and you do a brainstorming session and you're using the whiteboard. We wanna make sure that 
everything is recorded. Everything is saved. And again, we'll come, more, come back more. Most people are going to record that information in something like Google, Google Drive, or maybe it's a Microsoft uh, OneNote product or some other digital platform. Some of your advisors may also require that you keep an, uh, an actual hard copy, like, a, like an old school, like a, like a notebook that you actually carry around. And then some advisors might require kind of a combination. Grading, um, I'm not going to step through each one of these, but there are 300 points in total. What I would encourage you to look at is as we get toward the end of the semester, we will be grading based on the final percentage. Our standards for this class are pretty high. To get an A, unlike most of the classes in BSC, you've got to have a 93%. So we do, we do expect you to do the work that's relevant, that's meaningful, that's complete, and you need to do work that's high quality to get the A or the AB that you're probably looking for. The last thing that I wanted to just talk about briefly here is this little additional statement at the end, the very end of the syllabus on the importance of diversity and inclusion. So I have some standard information that's here from the UW-Madison that we're required to have on all of our syllabi, syllabuses. Um, and what this says, first of all, I'm not gonna read it to you. I place a really high value on diversity kind of maybe in a different way, diversity of thinking, diversity in terms of the way we all kind of come at solving problems, thinking about issues, um, brainstorming. We all, we all have different levels of creativity based on perhaps the language we speak. Maybe it's based on our gender. Men think differently than women. Maybe our sexual orientation. Um, it could be the, the culture or the country that we come from. And that's really where ideas happen is when we have a diversity of thinking. That's when creativity happens, when we each bring our unique experiences as individuals with an open mind to grow and learn through interaction. So that's how I define um, diversity in this class in addition to the way the university defines it. I will expect you to work well together as a team to create a meaningful set of solutions in both 508 and 509, but that's where in, in, as an engineer, diversity really does mean a lot in terms of our thinking, solving problems and being creative. I'm gonna stop my share here. I would be more than happy if any of you do have uh, questions or comments. I look forward to seeing and meeting all of you either virtually or hopefully in the not too distant future in person. And like I said, if you have questions, let me know. Talk to you soon and look forward to, to speaking more with you.